Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing TBR Jar Picks My Reads for February. I haven't filmed one of these in quite a few months and I'm so excited. I wrote all new prompts and we have a new jar. I'm excited to see what I'm gonna read. I'm not like in the mood for anything in particular, honestly. Maybe like thriller. I'm just not in the mood for romance, which sucks because it's February. I have my Valentine's Day crew neck on and I did my Valentine's Day nails They have little hearts on them appearance wise. I'm feeling ready everything else. I'm not but let's get into today's video I have all my TBR books right here So I'm gonna maybe make them a little more visually appealing for you guys. Give me one second. I'm scared. They're gonna fall. This is so heavy Perfect, and then I have these two that were on my shelf I think I'm gonna pick eight different prompts just because I haven't been reading too much and eight honestly kind of sounds like a lot, but we're gonna pick eight and go from there. I guess you can't see all of them. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up and then pick. First prompt, two word title. I feel like there's a lot of those. I don't know, I'm just like not in the mood for any books I feel like. I'm just not excited about my TBR pile. I don't know, there's not a whole lot of books on here that are exciting to me. I could do Ruthless Vows. I've been wanting to read that for a while and I love the first one. Or I could do down here Hot House Flower by Krista and Becca Ritchie because that's the next book I have in the Addicted Calloway series. Or I could also do The Inmate or Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. Those are both two word titles and I've been wanting to read a Frieda McFadden book. Like I've just been really in the mood. So I think I'm gonna go with Never Lie. This book I actually got at one of those little libraries and it's in like such good condition. So that was really exciting. It was also like on my wish list. So I'm so happy I found it. This book is about a couple and they're trying to find the house of their dreams and so they visit this manor that was once a psychologist and he disappeared four years ago and then a big winter storm traps them in this house. Number two, red on the cover. Oh, okay, I actually already know what I wanna do for this one. That's so exciting. I'm gonna do The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This is on my 2024 TBR, which that video will come out soon. And it would be nice to like knock one of those off. And I have the audiobook for this on hold and like my hold's about to come in. And I actually just really wanna read this book in general. This book is about a masquerade ball and Evelyn dies. And then Aiden has to figure out how she died and who the murderer is. And he wakes up in the body of every single guest until he can figure out what happened to her and that sounds so good i also just love this cover it is so pretty and simple so i'm really excited to read this one number three four letter title i feel like i have a lot of three letter titles so there's the seven year slip didn't see that coming by jesse q sutanto that's like a newer one of her releases from luke off with love Lily and the Octopus. I've had this one for quite a while. I think it's sad. I'm not positive. So that one like has been lower on my priority list. I think I'm gonna go with Didn't See That Coming by Jesse Q. Sutanto. It's like stuck. My sister gave me this book for Christmas and the way she wrapped it, the tape got all over the book. Anyways, this is like a bit of a different read. I chose it honestly because it's on the shorter side and I really like Jessie Q Sutanto's writing. She's the author of Dial A for Aunties and I love that little series. So this book is about a gamer girl, which is why I feel like it's different from anything I would normally read. And she plays as a guy to like hide her identity and then she transfers schools. She meets someone, I don't know, it's sounding like she meets someone through her guy persona and becomes friends with them and then like meets them in person as her girl self. I don't know, it sounds kind of fun and interesting. Number four, there's one prompt in here that I really want and it's like buy a new book bought from someone's recommendation. I feel like that's most of my books. I could do The Seven Year Slip. I have seen so much about that book. I could do Supernova. I think Arch Enemies is the next book after The Renegades. I know Sarah loves that series and that's why I got it because of her. So I could do that one. I think I kind of want to do that one. I started the Renegade series, like the, I read the first book in January, which you'll see in my wrap up, and I really liked it, so I kind of want to continue that. I think Arch Enemies is the second one, and then Supernova is the third. 
So here's my next read. This book is about a girl named Nova and I don't know if it's science fiction or fantasy. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure, but they're like superheroes living in the real world. And so there's like a group of superheroes and then there's like a group of people with powers who like are against the superheroes and she's against the superheroes, but she goes and works as a superhero to like uncover all their secrets. I don't know, it's really good though and I'm loving it so far. They're kind of long books. This one's almost 500 pages, but I really enjoyed the first one. So I'm excited to read this. Halfway through, number five. Fave author. Ooh. I pre-ordered Magnolia Parks Into the Dark. I absolutely love Jessa Hastings. So at first, I thought I could pick up Never by Jessa Hastings. This book is absolutely stunning. It is beautiful, but Magnolia Parks Into the Dark comes out on i believe the 13th and i pre-ordered it so it's coming on the 13th so i want to save that book for this pick because i am so so excited to read that so that's gonna be number five a colorful cover i mean like my first thought is this one because like it has a lot of colors i feel like a lot of these aren't very colorful covers like they all have like one color like pink orange red teal blue like these aren't very colorful i think i'm gonna do practice makes perfect by sarah adams and now hear me out i get it is predominantly pink but like the flowers are colorful and i don't know what else to do for this pick because i don't have a lot of colorful covers also i have been wanting to read this book for so long not because i want to read it but because i want it off my tbr i didn't love when in rome but i figured i'll read this because i have it here's my next pick for a colorful cover i know it's kind of a little far-fetched but we're gonna go with it number seven i can't believe i'm almost done starts with the i feel like there's a lot for this Ooh, I kind of have in mind what I want to do. So I could do The Seven Year Slip. I have this book called The Mystery Guest. I got it for Christmas and it's a new thriller, I'm assuming. I could do The Inmate by Frieda McFadden, but I already have a Frieda McFadden book. I could do The Summer Girl by Elle Kennedy. The Last Letter by Rebecca Yero, same author as Fourth Wing, but I've heard that book is really sad. So I think I'm going to hold off for a bit. But the book that I want to do is The Grace Year by Kim Liggett. I saw a bunch of people reading this like a couple months ago. I know it's YA, but it's also odd. It's about a society where when girls turn 16, they're like banished into the world so that they can return pure and ready for marriage. And then like not all of them make it back. So it sounds like a little dystopian society. I've heard a lot of people say you either like it or you don't. There's some like hard topics and it's a little difficult to get through, but I've been wanting to read it for some reason. So this is what we're gonna do for my the pick. I'm gonna reach way to the bottom for this one. My hand doesn't even fit in this jar. I don't want this one. I don't want it. Okay, I got a slow burn. There's only two books on my physical TBR that I know for a fact are slow burn, and that's Buy a Thread by Lucy Score and From Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. And we're gonna go with from Luke Off With Love. This book is a little over 500 pages. I have never read a Mariana Zapata book, so I'm excited to like try one out. And I've heard a lot of good things about this one. I'm just not the biggest fan of Slow Burn because it's like so frustrating sometimes. This is like a little ice skating romance, which I think is perfect for like February before we get into like the warmer months. And I love reading about figure skating. I keep getting all these figure skating TikToks on my For You page and I absolutely love watching them. I think figure skating is so, so beautiful. I don't know, I'm excited to read this. I think it'll be fun. It's just so long. So cute. Okay, let's do a wrap up for the books that I will be reading in February. We have Never Lie by Frieda McFadden, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, Didn't See That Coming by Jesse Q. Sutanto, Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. The Gracier by Kim Liggett. From Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. And Magnolia Parks Into the Dark by Jessa Hastings. I'm so excited. This is kind of a fun TBR. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Anything you do helps me out so much and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys so soon in my next one. As always, socials, links all down below.